Hey everyone, this is Lucky70x, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass! In the last episode, we took on the Temple of Ice, where, uh, we got ourselves our second pure medal. In this episode, we now have a grappling hook, so we're gonna be taking a bit of a side trip this episode, and we're gonna do every single puzzle and treasure we can get involving these grappling hook things around the world, because there's been a lot of them, if you remember. In fact, uh, we can use this one and just get started right away by being able to, uh, climb up this side of the area and get on top of the wall here, of all things. Uh, where there's not much to do on this side, but remember there's a bunch of treasures around the area of the Yetis. Also, in case you're wondering, yes, you can jump off this cliff into the ocean, but obviously, uh, Link has lost the ability to swim, I guess, or he just doesn't have a boat that's anywhere nearby or gives any sort of crap about him, so I guess, uh, that doesn't work. We, we can get across to this end here and, uh, go get the treasures over there if we so choose. That being said... There's also some, uh, oh, we don't even, yeah, I don't understand this one. There's also some grappling hook things over here. I'm not sure what they're here for, though, because it leads you over here, and there's really nothing. Like, there's there's nothing across here within reach, so nothing over here, nothing anywhere. So, not really sure what those grappling hooks are supposed to be there for. Maybe they were planning to put something there, and then they didn't and forgot to remove it or something. Or maybe it's a red herring. I don't know, but... I figure I'd just show up, there's grappling hook things over there, I just can't figure out what they're for, and none of the guides I looked at really mentioned anything uh, worthwhile either, so... We could jump down here, and get ourselves a power gem. It's pretty handy. Unfortunately, once we're down here, we can't get back up, but as you remember, there's a second way to get up to all these treasures and everything, too. So, uh, we'll, we'll do it the way from down here, which is going on these things, and we can then... Oh, once again, we don't actually need to be on this one. We can grab across to the world via this way as well. So, you know, you have your ascending patterns, you have your descending pattern. Just a whole bunch of different ways to get um, from point A to point B. I want to use this treasure instead to grapple across. Don't forget, you can grapple treasures, very important. You know, we'll earn ourselves a little bit of pocket change, nothing too special, but uh, nothing like the power gem, which we're going to be getting a lot of gems in this episode. Let me just tell you that much. Uh, Definitely going to be a lot of gems available for us to get today, and that will be the plan. Just kind of do a bunch of side questy stuff. Uh, because of the nature of this video, where uh, we have to do a bunch of... Basically, just going to a bunch of different islands, I'm probably going to cut out all the ocean traveling that happens in this episode. That has, like, a strange, like, strange texture over there. Some of the textures in this game are a little bit off sometimes. It's interesting, but, uh... Anyway, let's, let's ignore all of our Yuke friends, and we're going to head back to Nuki Village, say goodbye to the Elder, say goodbye to Aru, uh, just because he's now in his home, and it's kind of cool. Uh, now the other village, I mean, all the villagers say something new now, it's nothing too special. This guy just be like, okay, it's still kind of what they usually say, but, uh, actually there's this guy who mentions grappling hooks have anything to say interesting. I have the respect of some, okay. Oh, the Anukis. I could spend a long time talking to all of them, but at the same time, you know, we have a we have a lot to do in this episode, so I don't want to waste too much time just derping around this island. We have a lot of grappling hook things to show off, and I'm going to be making, making a lot of cuts in the footage as is. So, he doesn't actually give us a reward like the Goron Elder did. Basically, this guy is not nearly as cool as the Gorons. The Anuki, just Gorons, you can't ever beat Gorons. They're freaking Gorons. They're awesome, so... In case you're wondering, these guys don't really say anything different whatsoever. This guy's just kind of like, eh, actually, they literally like, it's a Yuke! Yeah, we know. We probably killed him and several members of his family. But that's okay. It's a Yuke from the Yuke tribe. Thanks for the information. Hi, Aru. You getting over your trauma yet? You uh, you seen your therapist? Can you stop screaming in my ear? It's really loud. Anyway, there's actually a few grappling hook things we can get while we're over here, if you remember correctly, though. So, uh, we'll grab those as well before we head out. Uh, we just need to... Grapple across? Really? Really? There, is that better? Thank you. Honestly, probably should just use, uh... The rope technique and tightrope across, but hey! Our second instance of a big gold rupee! Worth 300 rupees. Always a sight to see. So, that worked out. Let's move across here, accidentally stab the nothingness for no reason whatsoever, and there's another grappling hook thing over here we can get, so... Uh, I don't know if this one's gonna knock us into the ocean, so just to make sure, like I said, tightrope method, very effective. This is actually gonna, gonna, going to give us a 
treasure, though, it's actually gonna give us a hint to uh, the old Wayfarer. That, this is actually a treasure we already got before, this is just the hint that'll tell us how to get it. So I only got it, you know, about 10, 15 episodes, probably 20 even earlier than I was supposed to, but that's the little hint that, hey, the, the guy likes to dig, put maps in front of his house. I wasn't sure if we, if we were ever going to get a hint on that or not, or if we were just expected to know to dig there, because I wouldn't pa put it past this game for me to be expected to do that, so... I don't know. Thanks, Mr. Anuki. That's really nice of you. What a guy. So nice. Alright, so as you can see, there's some more uh, things to get with the pegs. I wonder if, like, digging up there got you anything with the peg, but I feel like it wouldn't do it. Anyway, they're all, they're just being all complimenting. It's all, it's all fine and dandy. We'll, we'll talk to the other guy in the house, too. Well, we can talk to you, too, because you're cool. Those, you know, someone actually understands that the Uke have it hard, too. Oh, that's so unique. I don't have antlers, sir. But nice try. Eat your crabs, Apollo. Yes, that was a reference to Awkward Zombie that I don't know why I made, but I made anyway. So we got ourselves a wisdom gem here, so that's two gems already. And we've only we haven't even left the island where we got this thing yet, so you can just you can tell. Treasures will Hey, you are there's you are a guy up here. Uh You're no Bono? <laughs> And you have no house, so you're no of oh, oh, you're so. I feel really. I feel bad for you, man. All right, give me a secret. Anuki's with houses bury stuff outside in front of the. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Well, let's quickly go grab some loot from Mr. Guy who is jealous about the people. I'm actually curious about this now. Okay. Well, that one's kind of useless, but what does this sign say? I said, what? okay, fine. I'll, put, I'll, put, I'll get rid of the shovel. Okay. So, let's quickly go to, like, the abode and see if we can't, like, get some rewards. Oh, the mailbox is shaking. We'll check that out in a bit, too. But, okay. Uh, there. Shovel. Ooh. Okay, this is actually really, uh, this is more profitable than I thought. I wasn't, I, completely uh, forgot that that was a thing that you can dig in front of the signs here and get rewards, so... I think I missed that guy in my practice file. Interesting. Uh, do these count as signs? Oh, yes they do! Oh boy, we're robbing all the Anuki today! This is... Just robbing every single Anuki. Well, this is a nice little uh, secret I wasn't expecting. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness gracious. Just getting money everywhere. This also definitely confirms without a doubt, by the way, that we are most certainly cutting out the footage from the ocean here, because this is taking a lot of time here. Alright, well, that wasn't too terrible. We got a decent amount of money from all this. Is there anything over here that's worthwhile? No, just kind of a thing over here. That peg just leads to the one over there that we saw already. So, I think we're good to go up this island. I mean, I'm assuming there's nothing like... I don't care about the sign, I want to dig up all the treasure! Actually, we already know because this treasure already had a thing in front of it, which we already got, so... Interesting! But that wraps up Anuki Island. That took a lot longer to wrap up Anuki Island than I thought, but we made a good amount of money and got two gems in the process, so... I, for one, am not complaining. Oh, we forgot to get that. We'll look at the mail at some other island. It doesn't really matter. So... Limebeck is exciting, or er, excited. <laughs> he's also exciting, but uh, he's he's excited. So two pure metals down, one to go. Actually, should have said wait, because if he uh, if you say wait, he actually replies if you're supposed to say aye aye, and then he just looks all sad. But whatever, aye aye. We're gonna keep moving. Uh, so we're heading to DS Island first. This one I'm actually keeping because this is a really short trip, but uh. Otherwise, once and plus, you know, this is kind of the other more important thing of like plot relevance or at least side quest relevance. When we get to just doing all of the grappling hook stuff back to back to back to back to back, I'm going to start cutting out the ocean trips here because we know how it goes for the most part. It's not too relevant. Also, we have to put our new anchor on as well because we have a new anchor. Don't forget, we uh, we got ourselves the gem anchor. The uh, part of the golden set, so the one part, of course, that isn't golden, because it's a gem instead, but I think it's a really cool anchor, so I'm excited to have it, so we'll be putting that on our ship probably at the very end of this episode, because next episode we're doing the Temple of the Ocean King again, which will be exciting. So that's the plan for then. 
But for now, DS Island does not have a grappling hook thing, but it, um, remember they had a mini game here, and now that we have taken care of Anuki Island, this has opened up the uh, Goron game, 50 rupees per play, which is a lot, but you'll make a decent amount back, and it's a fairly easy game, so not going to be a big deal, so let's explain the rules here. There's several targets scattered around the course. We have to break all of them, and it'll allow us to uh, get to the finish line. And we have to be quick, and you have to basically roll around as a Goron. So, of course, we can't roll around because we're human. We don't turn to a ball like Samus. So, instead of us doing this, we have to control Gon Goron! He's back! He's now employed in a part time job, or a full time job, working this thing. Yeah, hi! Remember me? I'm a guy. So, uh. Part time job to help me. Because, <laughs> you know, the Goron Elder doesn't make enough money, apparently. I. Gorons have jobs? What? This is news to me. Anyway, so, uh, we're gonna have to beat 35 seconds. Very quick game. Very, very quick game. All you have to do is roll around with Gongor and basically break all the targets, so... Just kind of bring it back to a mechanic that we saw briefly in, like, a dungeon and a boss, which is kind of cool that they bring it back. Fairly easy. Um, just use the speed boost early on to just kind of get through. Uh, if you want to try to go uh, pick up some money along the way, just don't get too far out of the way or you're gonna lose too much time. So, uh, more important that we beat this than making money at the moment. And there's a lot of money at the end here. This is the part where you can really lose a lot of time if you don't break these really fast, but that was done pretty efficiently. Broke all of the targets with lots of time to spare. All we can do is head down to the middle section here now and just speed our way to the end. Oh crap, don't want to take too much time. No, we beat that really good though. Even with a screw up there, we were still almost four seconds over the record, which means we get the reward. A new high score, a special thrilling prize. It's like a Salvador, though. It's going to be the same prize no matter what you pick. And in this case, it's a bomb chew bag. So we now have the maximum bomb chew bag. Uh, and just because, just, just for funsies, I'll just show off what happens if you win, if you break your record after breaking the record. So we'll get a second new record just, just to show off the... Uh, Wow, that's not going to crappy start. We're not going to be breaking the record if we're going to be doing poorly. But I'll just show you what you... I mean, I think it's the same if you break 35 seconds all the time. So just, you know, if you want to come back here ever and try to, you know... Oh, crap, I missed one all the way down here. I I am just tanking this right now. Okay, let's let's hustle. We, got that. we have to go fast here. We are so very far behind in our time here. Oh, God, this is going to be close. Okay, we have to book it here. If we're going to beat 35 seconds, because we're already not going to... Oh, come on! Of course I do really well the first time, the second time I still beat 35 seconds. Wow! It's not hard to beat 35 seconds in this minigame! So, yeah, I didn't beat my record, but I'm pretty sure you still get the maximum prize you can get, which is probably just going to be a treasure. Or money. So, you get money, you can get a treasure. I don't think you can get ship parts from this one, so it's not really anything remotely worth our time. If you want to leave, you just dig your way out as before. Um, DS Island does not have any sort of grappling hook puzzle other than this, though. We don't have any other treasures we can get. So, we're going to head back out, and now is the time for all the grappling hook stuff. So, uh, that's going to be the plan for the rest of this episode. Although, I guess looking at the time, uh, not really making terrible time today. That, uh, because if we're cutting out all the ocean segments, it should be pretty okay. I don't know. Ugh, there's no way I'm getting past it there without talking to Jolene if I want to go to Goron Island. So, that's going to be a bit of, pain, a, of a pain in the butt. We're going to go talk to Beetle quickly, just because he's, he's really nearby. So, let's just go quickly say hi to Beetle. See if he has anything interesting in his uh, inventory. Not that we can buy a golden part anymore, because we just don't have the funds, which is kind of sad. But, if for some reason he has... He's, he can have, get a treasure if we want, but I don't really care. Uh, do you have anything remotely interesting? Oh, of course, there's a golden arch rail there. And there's no way in hell I'm making 3,400 rupees anywhere near an amount, the amount of time I need. Uh, we have a golden anchor already, so this doesn't matter at all. So, I'm not going to really bother getting that. Well, I might see how I could, could somehow scramble 3,400 rupees together. But... Odds are not very high as to be able to do that, so... Uh, it pains me to put this away. This is because we, we lost the free compliment card, because... No? Hi... You... Because we definitely don't have a 
second compliment card, do we know? Because we, we lost the free one thanks to getting both ranks at the exact same time, which is really annoying. Ah, uh, well. We're gonna play Dodge the Jolene game. There's also a fish nearby. Oh, uh, you know what? Just for the hell of it, let's get that fish. Just because I want to try to get the fishing quest done in, the, in around now anyway. So, let's see if we can't... Can I just, oh, I was gonna see, I was gonna be like, can I just ignore her and fish? But unfortunately, she got to me at first, so. All right, we'll just deal with Jolene quickly. We haven't done this in a while, and then we'll, we're completely delaying anything we uh, have to do here. Actually, this is gonna be really convenient for fishing, though, because I'm just gonna be uh, cutting all the ocean segments out, so if I, if there's any fish nearby, I'm just gonna go get them, and that way, if, if, if it's not anything interesting, I can just keep it off screen. So that kind of works out decently. So we'll do that. We're gonna go for this one fish here. Actually. We'll just cut the episode after, or not the episode, but the, the footage for a bit, I think. Can you try to attack me, please? Thank you. Don't like you, don't like you. Uh, she just takes a stupid long time to... I wanted to get this, thank you. Rude. I have a barrel. Alright, do your attack. Can you be done yet? Oh, wow, we didn't even struggle with her. We just disarmed her before she could even... We backed her to a corner and beat the crap out of her. All right, just a Jolene encounter, just for funsies. All right. What's the point of this mechanic? It's just its just annoying. It's super easy to avoid, and it's just obnoxious, and you don't really get anything from it but just a petty amount of money, which I need 3,000 more rupees if I'm gonna, 3,400 more rupees if I'm gonna actually buy. It. I really wish I didn't go to Beetle now, by the way. This is upsetting me. All right, well, let's try to catch a fish. The golden parts are ludicrously expensive in this game. We're gonna try to catch a fish. And if this fish isn't the fish we're looking for, by the way, which that does definitely does not look like the fish we're looking for, um, well, let's just go ahead and... Let's just go ahead and break it, just because it's not the fish we're looking for, so screw it. Don't need to worry about it. Let's head to Goron Island. I'll deal with that. Well, actually, that's even still far away, so I'm gonna cut this out. Or if I- I probably already cut this out. If I haven't cut this out already, I'm cutting this out, and we're gonna go to Goron Island and start our grappling hook-a-thon. It'll be fun. Alright, we're here at Goron Island, and actually we haven't checked the mail yet, so we can quickly take care of that first, so... Hello, Mr. Wing Guy! Aru has some mail for us right now. Uh, because it's been a few days since I've done the temple, which means we're gonna get a present from Aru. So, uh, he's really touched. He got his life back. That world would have stopped. Wow, you're over dramatic, like an Anuki would be. So, the real, thank you for that, because we weren't aware of this. No, the fake Aru is actually sending us a wisdom gem. But, uh, there we go. Another wisdom gem. So, that's two wisdom gems and one power gem already in one episode, which is pretty cool. And, uh, we'll probably need it even more. Or, well, we, we are gonna get a lot more gems as we go through, uh, these grappling hook things. Because a lot of the remaining gems are left over of the grappling hook stuff, and it's just kind of a thing. I'm really curious now just to see if, uh, the Goron Elder has anything interesting to say. Just because, uh, Gan Goron's working now, I wonder if he's, like, there. Let's quickly check this, just, just for fun. Just take, you know, 30 seconds of our time. Quickly just go check this out, just, just, just to see. Just to see. Um, yeah, good night, Goron Goron's not here. Is he gonna mention anything about this? Yeah, okay, he mentions it kind of, so... That's cool. Well, it's, it's nice to see how the text changes over time. I wish I had, like, you know, I wish, like... I had infinite time in my videos. I mean, obviously I don't, because I don't want you guys to, like... Sit here, be bored forever. But, all the text in this game is... Like, I, I love reading text in games. I think it's really interesting to see all the lore and all the little... Just the little things that the programmers add that people really... A lot of people don't really appreciate. Which is just kind of interesting. Anyway, we grab over this rock over here. This will get us the treasure that I showed over here when we started doing Goron Island. And inside it is a Courage Gem. So that's four gems in one day. And we're just getting started. So, uh... Next on the list... We'll probably head to the let's head to the northeast one. We're gonna or the northwest one. Um, we'll get some stuff on Bannon Island, and actually no, we'll save Bannon Island for later just just for fun. We're gonna do the the southwest isle, isles first, I think. Yeah, that makes more sense. What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? Anything interesting for me? Can I sell? Uh, 
I have a few. Ooh. Okay, Goron Ambers. I have a lot of those. I'm selling all of these. Yeah, I'm selling all of these for a lot of extra money here. So that helps a little bit. I'm, I'm trying to see if I can't, like, make enough money here to possibly get to, uh... Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. To possibly get the that, that golden ship part. So I might try to scrape together as much money as possible to do this and sell all the treasures I have. And maybe Treasure Guy will get me a pink coral or I can try to get a pink coral somewhere. I don't know. I really want to get that golden ship part just because it's an extra golden ship part and that would be really cool. So who knows? Maybe we can get it. Maybe we can't. I'm certainly gonna try.